Hey there, friends, adventurers, conscientious observers. Steve the Amateur Historian here, and I got another list for you. A top 10 list this time. Because this top 25 ones just take too damn long to edit. Today's list, my top 10 favorite hotels in downtown Portland. Again, being an amateur historian, this excludes a lot of these newer uh, particularly uglier hotels that are just popping up all over the Portland area. It's got to be older. It's got to have some history to it. And on that note, let's get the ball rolling. Number 10 is the Georgia Hotel, once known as the Belleville Hotel. That's how it's acknowledged in old records, which may be why the hotel sign has a name above it scratched off. That price at Belleville at one time. But I love the Georgia Hotel because it's so sketch looking. It's not in a particularly bad area, it's just so beat up and old. It's got that rustic vibe that I absolutely love. Number nine, the Clyde Hotel, which like so many other buildings, particularly in that area, the Clyde Hotel is actually right around the corner from the Georgia. And like a lot of old hotels in the Portland area, it's been pretty much turned into businesses for the most part on the bottom floor. Not sure if the upstairs or downstairs, or the upper floors are used still as a hotel, or probably more living space, but it's an old historic hotel in that realm. Number eight, I'm so psyched they're fixing it up, the Cornelius Hotel. The Cornelius Hotel has a very interesting history to it, including the fact that it at one time served as a, there was a bathhouse there, which is pretty risque for Portland. I think this was during the 60s and 70s. Uh, but the building has sat pretty much empty for the last several decades. A fire during, I believe, the 1980s torched, like, the upper half of the building. So it's just kind of sat there, and you can still see kind of the fire damage and whatnot to the place. But it's really rustic. It's really cool. It was gorgeous when it opened. And they're fixing it up, and it, that's so awesome. It's been dormant for, like, almost 30 years, so I'm real psyched that they're fixing that up. Next on the list, number seven, a pretty obscure place. you got to really know your way around downtown to find this place. That is the Elton Court Hotel. I don't really know a lot about this place, and it's in an area where there's a succession of tiny little old hotel buildings there. They've all pretty much been turned into apartments, you know, actual long-term living uh, places. But the Elton Court one, amongst all these little tiny ones that are easy to miss, it has a very distinct look to it, a very gorgeous, distinct look. That will catch your eye if you're paying attention. <laughs> Number six. Tragically, this place is going to be gone very, very soon. And that is the Hotel Albion. And I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that accurately. Uh, Hotel Albion is more prominently known as the Lotus Cafe. Um, there's actually an old ghost sign that says Lotus Hotel on the back, so I'm assuming it was originally the Hotel Albion when it first opened. It probably became the Lotus Hotel. It's a very tiny old, again, very much like with the Georgia Hotel. It's an iconic place, but it's a very beat up, kind of ransacked looking brick structure. Uh, there's been lots of claims of it being haunted because it has this very crazy wild history, you know, connected with, you know bootlegging, wild goings-ons during Prohibition, and so on and so forth. And it's it stayed a popular location until it was closed last year. And it's going to be demoed soon so they can put an ugly hotel there. I just needed a moment of silence. Anyway, that moves us into our top five. Number five, the Multnomah Hotel. Big, eye-catching, you can be you know, five blocks away, and you'll still see it just towering into the heavens. It's one of those really cool hotels that's like three buildings meshed together as one. Very, um, there was a lot of hotels kind of in the Portland area, some of which are no longer around, that kind of have that kind of look to it, whether they're hotels or they serve in some other capacity. Uh, the Multnomah Hotel historically has been a, a, a place visited by prominent people. Martin Luther King uh, was there during his one visit to Portland. When JFK visited here in 1960, I believe he gave a speech at the Multnomah Hotel. So historically, beyond its age, its look, its local history, it has national history to go with it as well. That brings us to number four. We're moving north into Chinatown. 
the Merchant Hotel, uh, one of the oldest buildings in that area. Uh, beautiful cast iron look to it, which dates it back to the 1800s, you know, no later than 1890 because they stopped making cast iron buildings after that. And the Merchant Hotel is just, it's big, it's towering, it's beautiful, it shimmers, that kind of beige-ish, goldish sheen it has on it. Uh, and, you know, for how old it is, it's still maintaining its kind of rustic look uh, that it had even way back in the day. Even though you can tell they've, you know, obviously they've had to do a lot of work on it to maintain it. That brings us to number three. A very similar structure, also located in Chinatown, only like a block away, is the Norton Hotel. Now, the Norton Hotel, which is now known as the Norton House, was built back in the 1870s. Another, uh, not even just hotel-wise, but just buildings in general, one of the oldest ones in Portland. And, of course, you go into the Chinatown area, that's a chunk of Old Town Portland, and some of the oldest buildings still standing are located there. Uh, and the Norton House, a lot like merchant uh, house or merchant block as it's known now or at least referred to now it has this kind of great sky blue color um, I believe it used to have a third floor that it no longer has so it's only two stories tall it's very flat and long but again it has that really great old school cast iron look to it they've really maintained that place well I'm really glad that a lot of these old buildings in Chinatown they've managed to fix up and keep nice and I know there's like some businesses and like I think there's like a bar in there like I'd love to go in there and get a drink sometime just to go inside that place that brings us to the top two number two probably one of the if not the most iconic hotel in Portland the Benson I had the luxury of stepping inside of the Benson Hotel once uh, when I was out with my girlfriend and we were just videoing it. We just wanted to see what it looked like. So we thought, we'll walk in, we'll look prestigious and look around. And the inside's even more beautiful than the exterior. But the exterior is absolutely astonishing. It towers up into the heavens, this great brick structure. The, the roofing, it's got that kind of green stained, you know, marble-ish stone look to it. From bottom to top, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's probably one of the most expensive places to stay in Portland, I can only assume. I'm not anywhere near being able to afford to check out a room in that place, but, you know, it's iconic, and it's memorable, and people that come into town that have got a little extra money in their pocket, they stay in that place for a reason. And it's, I mean, it's probably ripped off to stay there, but at the same time, it's as far as hotels go, it's probably, you're going to get as much for your money as you can get anywhere else. Which brings us to number one, my most favorite hotel. If you watched my top 25 buildings one, you know I got a soft spot for this place. It's gorgeous. It's super old and it looks unblemished, absolutely gorgeous today. That is the Imperial Hotel, located technically a little on the outskirts of Old Town, but pretty much right there. Uh, the building is over 100 years old, I believe. But you wouldn't know it if you looked at it. it just the, the beautiful brown look. It just it shimmers in the light. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's got the, you know, the stone entryway with the imperial written on it. There's absolutely nothing about this place that isn't absolutely stunning. It's another one of those buildings that just towers upward. Even though buildings around it are larger, this one just towers upward. And again, as I mentioned in my top 25 favorite buildings video, it's one of few places, kind of like the Benson or the Multnomah, that was built as a hotel a long time ago and throughout its history has stayed a hotel. I actually think it's referred to as the Hotel Vintage now. Um, it's gone under a succession of different names, but Imperial is the original name, so that's what I'm going to call it. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I got plenty more. I mean, I'm literally just listing them out. Every day I come up with another one. Uh, a lot of downtown stuff, but I'm going to start spreading into the outskirts. Uh, get a little bit more of Portland, a little bit more of Oregon, a little bit more of the Pacific Northwest, and so on. But till I get to that video, till next time, this has been Steve the Amateur Historian.